welcome back to Alleyways, or if it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. And if you haven't already, please, please, please make sure to join the Alleyways family, subscribe to my channel, give this video a big thumbs up, and turn on post notifications so you know when I have new content. Okay, I promised you guys this video for a long time, and I'm so sorry that it's late, but I've been like, you know those times when you've been really busy, but you don't know what you've been doing? That's been me. But we are finally here with my Turks and Caicos lookbook and Instagram guide. I get a lot of questions about where I buy my outfits and like posing tips and things like that. And look, I know how it feels. This year shopping for this trip, I struggled. I struggled trying to find things I really liked. It finally came together. Um, sometimes I struggle. I'm still one of those kind of dinosaurs that isn't all reels based on Instagram. And I still love getting a great Instagram pic for vacation. So I wanted to help you guys out in case you kind of felt like me and you're struggling to find cute things and get good pics. Oh, I feel like I talked for a long time and that was kind of a roundabout way to say what I needed to, but that's okay, let's get started. <laughs> All right, so look number one, that is our airport outfit. I'm somebody who puts a lot of stock in an airport outfit. I always wanna look nice and feel nice and feel put together, especially now when you walk through the airport, everybody looks so cute. And so I had this two piece set in my closet that I've had forever, full disclosure, almost everything today came from Amazon. I'm gonna have links to everything that I possibly can that's still listed on Amazon. A lot of this stuff has gone off of Amazon, but I found it on like, um, Shein or places like that. So I'm gonna try and link everything I possibly can. This two piece set was sent to me maybe a year ago. And I just thought it was so perfect because here in Nashville in the mornings in early May, it's a little bit chilly, but then obviously it's like swelteringly hot in Turks and Caicos. I always also love to have a sweatshirt that I can ball up and use as a pillow on a plane. So I decided to kind of go with like a blue and white look. I did these shoes from Pink Lily. I did some tall socks that I bought off of Amazon, this two piece set, and then a white tank from Amazon. And of course, all my jewelry is also from Amazon with the exception of my <sighs> bridal jewelry. So all of that, is on Amazon, I believe still active. So I will link it in the description box down below. Amazon pretty much head to toe except for the Pink Lily shoes. And then for an Instagram guide, all that I do, I made a reel and a photo. The reel I just set up in my bathroom and literally get dressed and cut out the parts that would be not family friendly just to kind of make it look like quick and easy, you could do this with a tripod. I just prop my phone up on a cabinet in my bathroom, film it and cut it together. And then Meredith helped me take this photo at the airport. Uh, I chose to go by a window so I could have nice light coming in on my face. I kind of looked around at all the windows to see where it was empty. So there was nobody around at this gate. So we went over to this gate because we were on a layover. I made sure I was like kind of facing out so the light was coming in and lighting me. And I always do this pose. You'll see I always give my legs a little separation and a knee pop. Um, looking off, oh, these glasses are also from Amazon. I'll link those too. Uh, so that is it. If you have any more detailed questions about these, just make sure you have a nice light source that's like not too harsh. It was a little filtered because it was coming in through the window that kind of has like a little film on it. And then face towards the light, like watch, like right now I'm dead onto my ring light. But if I turn it, see how the lighting changes on my face? So you want it to be like nice and full and soft and lit on you. That's outfit number one, reel number one, photo number one, moving on. All right, so once we get to Turks and Caicos, the first thing that I like to do is to get into my swimsuit. Sorry, are you guys crooked? I feel like we're crooked. Uh, yeah, there we go. The first thing that I like to do is to get into my swimsuit. I saw this swimsuit online and fell in love. Now I'm gonna tell you guys, the bottoms are supposed to be a cute little skirt. The photo of the model was so deceiving. I got it in and it was, it looked horrible. Like so bad when I tried to pull the skirt down, it was too short, it was not falling right. So I just pulled the sides up really high and then kind of like made that look like a drapey bottom that was mirroring the drapiness that was happening on the top. I stood up on my tiptoes once again, faced the light source, hands on hips, giving lots of angles and dimension to your pose. Um, my clippy is also from Amazon, just a gold clip, same gold jewelry. And that is the skinny on this. This is no longer available on Amazon, but a friend of mine found it on Shein. So I will give you guys a link there. Okay, look number three. 
So a crucial part of this video is going to be the Alex Earl light. Now, um, if you don't know who Alex Earl is, she is a TikToker who got mega famous for doing get ready with me videos and always has gorgeous photos and video. And she shared that she uses this light from Amazon for all of her photos. So <laughs> I was influenced. I went and bought one. I bought this um, so we could use it at night to take pictures because a lot of times by the time you get ready for dinner, all your light is gone and then you're just at the mercy of whatever light you can find, which is not always the best. So I use this light. I just put it on the brightest setting. It can go all different kinds of colors. I kind of picked like a cooler tone, neutral color, similar to what I'm using now for this video. I hold it up high. So you know when somebody is telling a horror story, but look at this, and they hold their phone underneath, it creates like scary lighting. Whereas if you hold it from above, it's a little nicer, see? So this you can actually clamp on the phone that's taking the photo, but my family's so awesome, so they all work together. And somebody held the light up, lit from above, shined it a little bit down, made sure that the phone could grab focus. Once again, you can see a little bent knee, a hand clasp, I love this dress. This was on Amazon or Shoe, and I can't remember, the link is down below. Um, and look, I know a lot of people get really upset about fast fashion and I totally understand. I try to be very conscientious about uh, my impact on the environment. I'm always recycling. I do a lot of thrifting. A lot of these clothes I um, donate locally to people in need. So I know that can be upsetting for some people, but these are like just affordable looks that uh, worked for me and my body at the time, but please know that I'm trying to offset my environmental impact and just uh, be kind. Everybody's doing their best. So just keep that in mind as you're commenting. Uh, so that all in all, that's day number one, all of the outfits. Uh, you'll see kind of a recurring theme is I always, when I'm going to a location ahead of time, I'm scouting locations with like my outfits in mind. So at the beach, I know I always want to be wearing something that's like fun and bright and bold and contrasty to blue and green because that's the most of the environment there. So sometimes I might do something that um, is going to be a little bit more monochromatic, but I like to do something fun and bright and bold because it's summer and it's tropical and it's a vacation. So I keep that in mind when I'm styling. The location for the two photos I took at Beaches, Turks and Caicos, the one in the swimsuit was in the Key West Village right along the boardwalk before Neptunes at around four o'clock. The other was in the Key West Village by the family pool in the walkway by the palm trees outside the pool. You guys can totally copy these pictures, copy and paste, just tag me so I can see how awesome y'all look or reference this video if you wanna help other people out too. All right, I'm looking at my phone because I'm forgetting. Okay, yes, yes. So, <laughs> Day number two, we started off strong with an Amazon swimsuit that I got from a partnership. I love this swimsuit. I think it's so cute. I am so excited that belly chains are back. One thing that I'll say about this is when you're ordering it, keep in mind that it runs a little bit big and the liner has a tendency to flip. So if, I think if you order it a little bit smaller, the fit is gonna be bang on. I took this photo on the beach uh, around 7.30 in the morning um, just so the light was really nice and bright and the ocean looked really nice and bright in the background and these are my same glasses from Amazon all of my sunglasses are from Amazon I will have them all linked in the description box down below um, yeah I love that swimsuit I will wear it all the time because also it gives really great tan lines second photo Sorry, give me a minute, gang. <laughs> okay, uh, the next photo that we have um, is from that night. I also wore orange that night. I'm in a big orange mood. Like I said, I always want something that's like fun and bright and contrasty. This is actually a swimsuit cover up. You guys may recognize it from my Turks trip last year so if you're looking for a super cute swimsuit cover-up 10 out of 10 can recommend this one it is so comfortable and if you wear the appropriate undergarments you can totally get away with wearing it as a dress 
really cheap they've got it in a ton of colors and it just is like really classy and elegant i took this photo on the key west village lawn before dinner using the alex earl light at full blast pretty close to my face immediately after I finished my makeup. So just walked right outside of our room. I stood right in between two buildings because they had lights in the background and I wanted like a little bit of bokeh. Um, and I actually think I took this one on this camera, not on my iPhone, but everything else is usually um, on my iPhone with just the regular, you know, HDR camera settings. So yeah, another Amazon purchase there that <laughs> I, I really love. The next day I wore a swimsuit um, that you'll see in the vlogs. I never posted a photo in it, but I'll link to it. I don't recommend this swimsuit really, which is probably why I didn't post it. It came in and it was like a joke. It was a swimsuit top that was not even big enough to cover up like my dog. So I ended up having to use a swimsuit top and actually a bottom from another swimsuit that I had just using essentially the cover up that came with this swimsuit. So I'm not, I, I just like can't recommend it to you guys because it sucked unless you want to do what I did and <laughs> just pay for the cover up and throw out the swimsuit or recycle the swimsuit or upcycle the swimsuit in some way. Um, yeah, I kept the bottoms for tanning at home, but the top itself, I'm currently like trying to find a way to use it just as a bow on the bottom. That's how tiny it is, you guys. It was like, it was crazy. It was like a joke. Uh, that night, I wore an Amazon dress that I also got from a partner. I love this dress. I have it in other colors. It's one shoulder, so it's really dramatic. I took these photos on the boardwalk with the uh, Alex Earl light, as I'm calling it, at around sunset. Now, at this time, the ambient light would have made the photos kind of too grainy and blurry. So just having that little extra pop of light helps to illuminate you and make you look well lit and give it a little bit um, of a higher quality feel. I love this dress. Uh, my heels on this trip are, are from Pink Lily. They're just like plain. Oh no, I'm sorry. They're also from Amazon. They're Dream Pairs Lucite heels. I can link those in the description box down below. For me personally, when I'm going on vacation, I try to minimize the number of shoes I take. I usually have a pair of shoes for the gym, a pair of comfy tennis shoes for travel, sandals for the beach, and then a pair of like plain heels that go with everything and that gets me through any length of stay. I will have all of my shoes linked down below. I've got some super comfy beach shoes. The tennis shoes from Pink Lily, I love. They're amazing. Um, I'll have any discounts that I have and I will have my heels from this trip as well. Okay, then the next look we have, I will pop these up, is this swimsuit that I am obsessed with. I wore this on the Disney cruise. I wore it again in Turks and Caicos. I've ordered it in other colors. It is so gorgeous. It's plunging, it's dramatic, it's comfortable, it's lined, it's padded. Uh, you can get through the entire day in it. You can do any kind of water sport in it. I love this swimsuit. I've got it in green and white, black and white. I want it honestly in every color because it's just so comfortable and I think it's really flattering. These photos I took in the Key West Village at the adult only pool in front of the pergola at the adult only pool at around 10 a.m. So the light was not ideal there. So I just tried to pose all in shade so that the light was even. That's my tip for this. Again, you can see lots of angles and movements, something to make it interesting. I also had a ton of fake hair in here. I had the U clip from insert name here hair that I can also link if you guys want that. Okay, um, if you guys, if I'm like leaving anything out that you're super curious about, let me know. I'm kind of going based off of like my camera roll and my Instagram account to see like and remember what I got the most questions about. That night we went to dinner at Sky and I wore this dress that an Amazon partner sent me. This dress, oh, it's amazing. It's very risky, but I've got 
so many compliments and so many questions about it. I really like it. It reminds me a little bit of that Zoffel two-piece set from last year that a ton of you guys liked. And at Sky, we always try to get up there around sunset to see if we can get a table. And then there's a corner next to the kitchen and you'll see because every single person and family in the restaurant takes photos over there. Wait your turn, go to the corner. People are gonna look, let them look. You're never gonna see them again. They might can film you and put it on influencers in the wild, but it does not matter. I'm like, just let people live. You know, like everybody wants to have a nice photo and memory from them from like, you know, vacation with their family. So let people take their pictures in peace and just be supportive and be like, they, they look awesome. That's what I do if ever I ever walk by. I'm like, oh, that's so cute. You look great. You look beautiful. Do you want one together? Anytime you can just choose kindness, you guys. But um, yeah, so these, obviously that's an Amazon dress, my same jewelry. And then my dad actually took this portrait photo of me at the table just randomly. So he put the phone on portrait mode and uh, I was sitting with my back to where the sun was setting and he just kind of had me angle my face a little bit more towards the sunset, put it on portrait mode and snapped a few. And then my little sister took the other ones with the light over in the corner by the kitchen at sunset. So you want a little light to offset just so you can grab focus on the face like we talked about earlier. And I just like to kind of like extend my arms out and get those angles going and a little separation between my body and my arms. So that's kind of the key to this pose for me personally. Again, if you guys have any questions about outfits that I missed that you saw in the vlog that I didn't post, just let me know. The next day I started off in this swimsuit that I am obsessed with. Uh, it's from Amazon. It reminds me of just like a Bond girl. I substituted the bottoms that it comes with for a high-waisted option. You don't have to do that. I just know for me, if I'm going all day, I need something that's like a little bit more... Um, I don't even want to say supportive, but just like the high-waisted bottom, you're not going to lose as easily as like a tie bottom. Love these. I put in a fake insert name here, ponytail that I will link on and went out into the water first thing in the morning. Once again, just like that photo in the orange swimsuit, just to be kind of contrasty against the blue and then looked off towards the light source. And again, you can see all the separation with the posing. So trying to get separation between your limbs because you guys can see when you take a picture, well, I'm not wearing a good blouse for it, but let's like kind of tighten this around my arm so we can make a point. If you're posing, look, your arm, we all know about the sploosh, you separate it you're not gonna splooshing and that applies for all your limbs. You know, all I'm saying here. So yes, we had the black swimsuit during the day. My cover-ups are some old ones from Moss Rose. They don't sell anymore, but I will link one that's like kind of a similar feel that is a crochet dress or I use the skirt from my dinner on the second night as a cover-up. Anything that I do have, I'll link. That night, I wore this orange one in crisscross jumpsuit. We went out to the same spot on the boardwalk and took these photos just from below to kind of make me look a little bit taller. I'm 5'6", and a lot of times when people meet me in person, they're like, oh, you're so much shorter than I thought. And I'm like, yes, it's because we're taking those low angle, wide angle lens photos. We did this at night using my light from Amazon, and I really like how they came out. Okay, let's see. What else do we have, gang? Hmm. <laughs> That's almost everything. As the, the trip went on, I got a little bit uh, tired of taking photos. Does that happen to anybody else? Got just like a little bit of picture fatigue. Um, that's it. Sorry, I feel like that was kind of anticlimactic. But yes, those are the things that I wore in Turks and Caicos. Those are the locations on the property where I took the photos, what time of day, and those are my posing hacks. And I just hope this helps. Like, I hope you can apply this to anywhere that you're going and that it might inspire you just to, you know, express yourself in a fun way and make fun memories on vacation. And, um, I really appreciate you guys watching this. I appreciate y'all so much. I love you all and I can't wait to see you next time right here on Alleyways. Bye.